It's a horrible story. Thank you, William. Tomorrow is the 20-year anniversary of the dragging death of James Byrd, Jr. The 49-year-old Byrd was chained to the back of a pickup truck, then dragged to his death by three white men. Now, 20 years later, several Jasper County residents tell us privately that they believe racism still divides the community. James Byrd, Jr.'s sister, Betty Boatner, says she does not feel beset by racism in her circles and says she's just focused on spreading the message of forgiveness and love. I think it's a good idea to continue to speak about it, continue to talk about hate, continue to talk about love, continue to talk about forgiveness, continue to let people know that how you can make it over. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., a memorial bench will be installed at the Jasper County Courthouse to honor Bird. Afterwards, the Bird Foundation will sponsor an event called Fun Day in the Park. That will be held from 10 a.m. until noon at the James Bird Memorial Park off Birch Street in Jasper. Not too much to report today in our weather world, but it <laughs> looks like some rain could be headed our oh, way. Oh, did you say rain? Rain. Oh, that what is nice good sound. news. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn to find out more about this rain. Yeah, don't uh, get too excited, <laughs> folks, but uh, we are seeing a few showers right along the sea breeze that's now moving on in uh, to the triangle. Let's take a look at radar and uh, slim pickings up towards the lakes area, but we are seeing a few showers there. And over towards West Orange, Orange seeing rain and in around Beaumont and around Vider. These are all moving along the sea breeze off towards the west. And one lone shower northwest of Jasper moving to the northwest. Otherwise, temperatures are into the lower 90s. And our forecast this evening shows that 20% coverage. Most of the activity should be done by about 8 or 9 as temperatures fall back into the mid 80s. Looks like hotter, drier weather conditions are on the way. We'll tell you when in just a few minutes. Thanks so much, Patrick. Jefferson County deputy seized 16 gallons of liquid meth hidden in a car during a traffic stop along Interstate 10 this morning. The vehicle was stopped for a traffic violation. During the stop, the two people in the car gave consent to search the car in which the liquid meth was found. It was found in the fuel tank. Ronald Bradford and Paula Bear of Houston were both immediately arrested in that case. At least 75 people have been killed, dozens now missing after the explosion of a volcano of fire in Guatemala. Hundreds of homes destroyed, and as ABC's Dania Bacchus reports, a volcano in Hawaii also remains a threat. In Guatemala, toxic ash and lava material shooting once again from the volcano of fire forcing rescuers going into one of the hardest hit towns to turn around and leave after the volcano started erupting without warning. <laughs> Nearby towns also forced to evacuate, this one completely covered by ash, showing the magnitude of devastation. Officials say at least 75 people are dead after Sunday's explosion, and they expect that number to rise. <laughs> Nearly 200 people are still missing, with a slim chance of rescuers finding survivors. This woman saying she lost 36 family members, including aunts, uncles, and cousins. At least half of those relatives, she says, are believed to be children. And in Hawaii, Lava from the Kilauea volcano continues to do more damage. It's like a flood, you know, it's just pouring out, covering everything in its path. Uh, just incredible what it's doing. Officials say at least 100 more homes were destroyed Monday. Residents have been dealing with the relentless volcano for a month. Lava has covered a total of eight square miles and many people are still under evacuation orders. Mm, so heartbreaking to watch. At least six Guatemalan children who were seriously burned will be brought to Shriners Hospital in Galveston, Texas for treatment. On June 6, 1944, more than 160,000 Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, France and initiated D-Day. More than 10,000 Allied soldiers were killed or wounded on D-Day that one day. But by the end of the day, the Allied forces had begun to liberate Europe. There is quite a bit of social media buzz about June 6th today, as you might suspect. The White House tweeted, today we remember our courageous and brave troops 
that stormed the beaches of Normandy 74 years ago. The U.S. Department of Defense tweeted this picture. Take a look at that. Wow. And the Canadian Prime Minister said, we remember the Canadian troops who fought with great courage. President Trump today signed the VA Missions Act of 2018. The Senate passed the legislation last week with only five votes against. The act provides $5.2 billion to extend the Veterans Choice Program for a year while the program is being overhauled. The overall VA Mission Act would also expand the VA's caregiver stipend program for the families of disabled veterans. Speaker of the House Paul Ryan says President Trump should not pardon himself. He was speaking at a GO House GOP leadership news conference this morning when a reporter asked him about the president's contention that he has the power to pardon himself. Mr. Trump posted a tweet early Monday morning in which he stated he has the absolute right to pardon himself. Today, Speaker Ryan told the reporter no one is above the law. Next, Kevin is huh? going to give us his best pageant stance <laughs> in honor of the rule change for the Miss America competition. I can't we'll wait see. to see that. <laughs> we'll see. The New Jersey police officer seen on video repeatedly punching a 20-year-old woman on the beach over Memorial Day weekend will not face criminal charges. After this incident, the prosecutor's office in Cape May County launched an investigation to determine whether the arresting officers used excessive force. You be the judge, but the prosecutor said they did not have enough evidence to warrant criminal charges. Well, the Miss America pageant put out some big news yesterday announcing that Miss America will no longer judge contestants on their physical appearance. And this means no more swimsuit and That's evening right. wear competitions. That's right. Miss Central Texas says she thinks this will help make all types of women feel confident in competing. Um, I have learned that those things are, like, untrue. Um, I think that people, like, they hear pageants and they see, like, this you know, this certain woman, this certain looking woman. Um, and what I've learned is that pageants are not just that certain woman. 
Okay. The it, irony is that, you know, the pageant has been mm -hmm. about physical appearance for a long, long time. Very strange to see the changing of the yeah, rules. Yeah, a little bit. Miss, the Miss America, they, it's more of a scholarship pageant. The yes, Miss USA was a little bit different. But, Kevin, I hear you have a mean pageant pose. Oh, the pose? Yeah, the um, pose. Well, do we have room for this? I mean, I think we do. It's so extraordinary. He has the turn. Oh. He's got it. I hurt my Where's neck. the crown? You have the crown oh. back there in the sash? It's, now strike a pose. It's, more, it's all in the neck, but I think I hurt myself. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> it's a, it, you, think, you, you tell us what you think.